edition of Neon Trash. I'm your host, Tommy the Hammer. Here in Kent, we're about to be starting the new school semester again. We're a college town, so that means when the college students come back, work grows exponentially for me. And I haven't been able to focus on my YouTube channel, so it's been kind of killing me inside, guys. But finally, today, I actually have some extra time to myself, and I thought I'd talk to you guys, my ever faithful audience, about a brand new movie that I haven't seen. Well, what are we going to be checking out, guys? None other than the 1960s black and white gothic classic, Castle of Blood. This movie is starring the prolific Barbara Steele, so why don't you guys lay your peepers on this motherfucking trailer, and when we get back, we're going to be discussing Castle of Blood a little bit. Don't go anywhere, guys. Castle of Blood. This is the shocking drama of a young writer who disregards the warning of his master, Edgar Allan Poe, and accepts a wager to pass the night in a castle of mystery and legend. The Castle of Blood. No one has ever witnessed and survived the awesome secrets, the ghostly events of this castle of the damned. I dreamed of this night. At last I can go away with the man I love. You can't leave, Elizabeth. You're trapped in this castle. Here, the dead rise from their tombs once a year to repeat their hideous crimes of murder and passion. Kiss me. Oh, yes, my dearest. Keep on embracing me. I want to absorb the warmth of your body. For a moment, I thought that your heart had stopped. I'm dead, Alan. No! No, Herbert, no! No! Every death is repeated tonight. Come. Alan Poe's most gripping, chilling drama of horror and suspense, Castle of Blood. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the movie Castle of Blood. I gotta admit, I thought this movie was pretty good. It's immensely atmospheric, very brooding in nature, and I think it's the perfect gothic horror movie for those dark and stormy nights. I found the main storyline to be immensely intriguing, especially the beginning of the film. I found the overall setup to just kind of draw me in. And despite this movie was made in the early 1960s, the overall film just had this, you know, gritty and scratchy vibe to it. Uh, if I wasn't mistaken, I would have thought that this movie was actually made during the late 40s or the early 50s, but nope, early 1960s. Most of the movie, our main character just kind of bumbles around the dark. And, you know, it's these moments where the director could have trimmed the fat and eliminated some of these needless scenes and made the movie a lot more concise and palatable, and it would have been all the better for it, in my opinion. Actress Barbara Steele is beautiful and captivating, as always. I found her character to be quite haunting. Had the beginning and the ending not been as strong as they were, then this movie would have definitely been kind of a bummer. But as it is, I think it's a real winner. It's got a strong beginning, a strong finish, awesome mood, terrific atmosphere, Barbara Steele, awesome music. You really can't go wrong. And if I had to give this movie a star count, I could give it a solid 7 out of 10.